Hey guys, uh, my name's Corey. I'm um, going to give you a little brief bio about myself. Uh, before I became a licensed barber, I actually was in the United States Army for 11 years with uh, three combat tours in Iraq. Three years ago in February, I was medically discharged from active duty. Uh, shortly after that, I enrolled into Barber College. After starting Barber College, I was introduced to the Shoreham Barbershop and the video that I saw from you guys was the razor faded pompadour and from that point on i have been truly inspired by you guys and what you guys are trying to bring back to this profession um, taking care of the clients and uh, just the classic haircuts you know and that's definitely what i strive to do here in my barbershop the reason why i want to be a scum ambassador is because i honestly feel I can bring a lot to the table. Um, I don't have that much experience in the barbering community as a profession, but I know that when it comes to talking to people and sharing my experiences with them and teaching, um, that's what I truly enjoy doing and that's what I truly enjoy, period. I started carrying the Rusal product line in January of 2016. And from that point on, I love the product, uh, everything about it. Um, I've been selling it and introducing it into my community and my clients love it, my friends love it, and I fully stand behind it. And uh, hopefully um, I get selected and hopefully I get picked. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna establish the baseline using clipper over comb technique. And just below the baseline, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start establishing our fade. Going about halfway up the side of the head. With the clipper blade closed, we're going to continue up to the predetermined line. Going all the way around the head. Brushing away any loose hair making sure to cover all of the area and making sure there's no hairs left over. Starting on the right side, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna establish our baseline like we did on the left side using clipper over comb technique, making sure that the clipper blade is all the way open. Going in with the trimmers, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go just below the predetermined line to start our skin fade. Making sure that we cover all the area and knocking out any loose hairs that we have. So we're going just below the predetermined line that we did with the wall clippers with the zero blade. So with the predetermined line that we established earlier in the haircut, we're gonna go ahead and turn the clippers Halfway closed and we're just going to go ahead and we're going to start rubbing this line out that we established earlier. And as we're going up, we're just making sure that we always flick out so that way we're not establishing another line. So inserting the flat top comb, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start at the top, making sure that we keep a 45 degree angle going from longest to shortest in the back. And any little hairs that are poking up out of the comb, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna go straight across. And we're gonna go ahead and remove the bulk. Keeping the integrity of the haircut, we're gonna make sure that everything is square on the top. And then we're gonna just go freehand from the back all the way up to the front and removing any little hairs that would stand out. Using the same process on the right hand side, we're removing any hairs that are going to be poking out of the haircut from the top. So just, be right. just below the predetermined line, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start establishing our razor fade. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start adding the soap. So just below the predetermined line that we established earlier, we're using our straight razor and we're going to go all the way around the client's head to establish our straight razor fade. Making sure to stretch the skin so that way you are protecting the client and you are not breaking the skin. We're gonna go all the way down. So right where we established our 
baseline with the skin razor fade we're going to go ahead and we're going to go in with the trimmers to remove that line. Alright, we're going to start adding our Ruzel aftershave just so that the client makes sure that he does not get any skin irritations or skin infections and we're going to make sure that we close the pores and we're just going to rub that nice and smooth and softly into his scalp. So now what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start adding the grooming tonic. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to rub this throughout the client's hair from the base of the hairline to the ends. Make sure that we rub it uniformly all the way around. Now we're going to use the blow dryer and we're going to start lifting the client's hair from the base of the hairline all the way to the end. And making sure that we lift it straight up. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the Ruzel Pink and place it in the palm and we're going to rub it vigorously and heat the product up. And then we're going to establish it in the base of the hairline and make sure that we rub it all the way through, all the way to the ends of the hair. This is a nice firm hold. And for how short my client's hair is, this is the hold that we want to go for. And using my pick, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start shaping it. And now you have your razor faded scumpador.